Okay, so the next step in our step-by-step -step setup guide is auto-generated numbers, which I think is quite an important one, right? So you will notice I've got a worksheet here for auto-generated numbers. So let me click on that worksheet and let me then go to NetSuite and go and show you what the page looks like, company, auto-generated -genera numbers. Right, so you will notice there's entities, document number, CRM, other. Right, so there's my entities, there's my documents, there's my CRM. Right, um, now I want to deal with document numbers first because I think that's the most critical one. So, specifically in the case where you've got a one world account. Right now, this is J curve, so you will notice that, and this sheet was set up for a one world account where you have this column, right? Use subsidiary, and so on every subsidiary record, there will be a field where you can put a prefix in for each subsidiary, right? So that at the end of the day you're going to have the prefix for the type of transaction in this case let's say cash refund and i'm going to provide these these you can change pick any ones you want here i've just these are just kind of simple ones that i've picked and obviously you can't use the same prefix twice right because that's not really going to work for you now minimum number of digits depending on your size of your organization when you get to eight Right now you're getting into the tens of millions. So for a business my size, I'm never going to get any anywhere near to that, but I'm just going to leave it at eight just because that's what I always do. Um, if you have initial numbers, so if you want to, you want to use your old number range and you want to just go on from wherever you stop in your old system, this is where you put that next number, that initial number in. For me, I want to start new, so I'm not going to use any of that. I don't have subsidiaries, so I'm just going to gray this out. Right. Um, in the case where you have a one world account, I would say you definitely want to do that. That makes it really easy for you to look at a long list of transactions, let's say in a consolidated general ledger, and be able to quite easily see which of the transactions what type of transaction they are and what subsidiary they belong to. So really, really, really handy. Um, this column, quite important, allow override, right? So do you want to give your users the opportunity to say, no, 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 I don't want to use the number that NetSuite has just given me. I want to give a number that I want to give the number uh, that I want to use right so that's really dangerous because now you're gonna at some point it's a very high likelihood you're gonna end up with duplicate numbers which is not possible in next week right so um, as a general rule i would say false when i do use this and when i do make this true is only temporarily when i'm doing an implementation and i'm bringing old data in because I don't want to give those old transactions new numbers, right? So let's say all my invoices, I want to give them the exact same number I used in my old system. So for me to do that, I've got to say true, allow override, import all those old transactions, and now I go and make, go and make this false. So that is really important. It's important that you remember, of course, to go and make it false. Otherwise, you're going to have duplicates and numbers all over the place. Um, what is important to note here is there. However, after you turn on numbering, records will be listed by number rather than name. And you cannot reverse that. Right, and it's going to take you a little while. You can see a f uh, typically a couple of minutes for 5,000, so you just got to be 
just got to cool your jets and just hang on for the process to run through. So I will stand there for the moment. I will come back to this as I'm starting to import the old data. I will come back to this and you will see that will make sense then. So let's just quickly show you. I, I'm not going to do all of them in this video, but I am going to do a couple of them. So let's say, for instance, transfer, right? So transfer, I've picked TRFR. And again, that's abbreviations that I've come up with myself. So you can use anything you want. So I'm going to go transfer and I'm going to say, right? And they're using six, but I'm going to use eight. So I'm going to go eight. I'm going to fix all the other ones. I'm going to make them all eight, 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 right? And I'm going to save that. So I'll go offline and I'll go and add prefixes for all of them. And that is um, auto-generated numbers.